Welcome to the Helsinki Day at the Singapore FinTech Festival. Our world is undergoing several global transformations simultaneously. Even just one of these transformations would be impactful, but when we consider the combined effects of all of them, we grasp the magnitude of the change we are going through. These transformations, like climate change, digitalization and segregation, are first and foremost present in cities. By 2050, over 70% of the world's population will live in cities and share an urban mindset. Cities are the single system where world's most profound developments, good or bad, will happen. The current COVID crisis will not change any of this. It will highlight many aspects of these transformations and bring to light cities' strengths and weaknesses. There is an opportunity in every crisis. In the current situation, many businesses have thrived. Even in areas where business has completely stopped, some have been able to innovate new ways to create revenue. Many aspects of digitalization and data utilization have taken major steps forward. AI and automatization have become commonplace even in city organizations. Still, I believe that COVID crisis will not create a whole new world of a new normal. It will redirect our use of resources, solidify many ongoing systemic changes, and highlight the need for quick tests and innovations. Fluidity and ability for quick-minded response are the assets for the future. In the post-COVID world, many aspects already associated with the Nordic countries will become necessities. Reliability, safety, openness, clean environment, sustainability and low bureaucracy will make the Nordics a desirable operating environment and a high-valued partner. Helsinki's mission is to be the most functional city in the world. We have done our best to communicate our values and develop our operating environment so that we would be a first choice place and partner for new businesses and investments also, and maybe especially post-COVID. Our city as a service concept aims to attract new talent. We are developing Maria O1 campus at Europe's leading hub for startups. We're making systemic changes to enable public-private partnerships to accelerate smart city solutions. Still, I believe that one major asset behind the world's most functional city is that we are the capital of a nation built on trust. Trust-based society offers high-functioning and high-achieving base for business development and innovation. Transparency, open governance, and equality create an optimal platform for trust to grow. This will be a growing asset not only for Helsinki, but all Nordic cities in the future. In a post-COVID world, we ask ourselves, what can we learn? How can we build a better world after the crisis? My answer is that in order to restore trust, we must take investment in people seriously. The more we invest in people, the more people are able to trust their society, themselves and each other. The more trust we have, the more efficient and high-functioning the society as whole can be. We are able to have less bureaucracy and red tape. People have more time to do what they love, be creative, innovate, lead a better quality life. Trust makes people less afraid. And when they are less afraid, they participate more, create more, and contribute more. Trust makes societies efficient. In fintech, trust is essential. Building sustainable systems and developing new technologies requires that people and companies are able to trust their security, but also their sense of responsibility. Governments, companies, academia, and NGOs must work together to ensure that building these new systems 
and innovations actually work towards making life more functional for all. Public sector can do a lot to create optimal platform for growth. Helsinki has opened more data than almost any city in the world. Our digital strategy is based on developing proactive digital services that people actually want to use. Platform economies can flourish due to open information sharing between government, regional actors and companies. Investment in people has created a highly educated workforce. Adaptation to new technologies runs high. Optimal conditions can't, however, ensure success alone. The next step should be a wider global collaboration and more strategic partnerships with international companies and academia. The platform in Helsinki is ready. The regulatory environment is supportive. The ecosystem is supportive. Welcome to Helsinki. I wish you a wonderful day at the Singapore FinTech Festival.